free consultation with an experienced designer. Find our seven showroom locations and photos of actual projects at cabinetdiscounters.com. Check it out at cabinetdiscounters.com. Cabinet Discounters, great quality, great price. Right now on ABC7, morning turned into a call for action. The NRA breaks its silence as protesters rally on its front lawn. Also ahead. It was more like survival mode. ABC7 goes one-on-one -on -one with the firefighter who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with an armed carjacker and won. How something he does for fun gave him the upper hand. And a commuter alert tonight, the deal that could finally have omnibuses back out on schedule, but it might not happen as soon as you want. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. First tonight, memorials growing in two American cities, shattered by mass shootings just hours apart over the weekend. That is the entire nation mourns the 31 innocent lives lost. Tonight, candles line the street in Dayton, while in El Paso, Texas, thousands have come to Walmart parking lot there to pay their respects. That store, the scene of an attack the police are describing as domestic terrorism. President Trump set to visit that community on Wednesday as the city's leaders struggle for answers. I don't know how we deal with evil. I don't have a textbook for dealing with evil other than the Bible. Now, as for that attack in Dayton, we're now learning that the suspected gunman had a history of violence that included a hit list when he was in high school. In Fairfax tonight, a candlelight vigil served as a call for change as gun control advocates rallied outside NRA headquarters. Our Annalisa Gale is there tonight with their message and how the National Rifle Association is responding. Enough! Enough! Once again, dozens of protesters stood in front of the National Rifle Association's headquarters to call for gun control. We would like Mitch McConnell to call the Senate back into session to pass some gun sense laws. This is the second major protest in front of the NRA organized by young people with March for Our Lives. Last year's protest came shortly after the Parkland shooting. Organizers say they are sickened that the disturbing trend has continued with two more mass shootings in Texas and Ohio. We just don't want to become desensitized for them to think that this is a normal thing because it really is. Every single day tra these tragedies happen, but we are going to keep up with this and we're not going to forget. Vote them out! Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton tried to reassure constituents that she is working on gun control legislation. In June, she introduced legislation to prevent silencers from getting in the wrong hands. It's very frustrating, but we're not giving up. As you can see from all of these people who are here today, you know, we're not going away, we're not giving up, and, and it's, this is just going to strengthen our resolve to do something about this issue. Some held up photos of the El Paso shooting victims during Monday's protest to honor them. It's deja vu all over again every day. Enough is enough. Yes, people have mental illness, but having the accessibility to guns with uh, multiple, uh, the ability to uh, send out multiple bullets uh, is just crazy. And in a statement posted to Twitter this afternoon, the NRA says they are welcoming the president's call to address the root causes of the horrific acts of violence. Live outside the NRA, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. Annalisa, thanks. And it's not just the NRA that's responding to the loud calls for increased gun control. Tonight, ABC 7 spoke with one of the leaders of Gun Owners of America. It's a group that represents some 2 million American gun owners. We don't go after... Uh, sober drivers just because of what a few reckless uh, drunk drivers do. Uh, and in the same way, we don't think that uh, regular average gun owners should be uh, in any way held accountable or lose any of their rights because of what these monsters did. Now, Pratt insists that eliminating gun-free zones and so-called soft targets is the strongest response the nation can have to these deadly attacks. Meanwhile, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser calling for action on gun control at the federal level. In a letter to Senate leader Mitch McConnell, the mayor urges the Senate to reconvene to vote on universal background checks. She specifically references a bill the House approved earlier this year that eight Republicans joined Democrats in supporting. Also today in the district, a safety check at schools in Ward 3. Councilmember Mary Che has done these inspections for years, but says after this weekend's violence, it was important to ensure that security measures work as they are designed.